investigation, uh, which took me around six months, um, I was able to review um, a lot of secret material that the US uh, authorities held on this individual, which identified him as a suspected um, Russian intelligence agent. Tell me, how then did you unearth this story? So I've been working on um, investigations surrounding national security for almost 10 years now and um, picked up some some pretty decent sources during that time. And I, I received a tip around this individual living in the UK. Um, and I just basically started following the breadcrumbs, uh, which led me to the US, where I had heard they had conducted uh, some work into this Ukrainian businessman um, and suspected that he was an asset of the Russian security services. Um, now, during during that investigation, uh, which took me around six months, um, I was able to review um, a lot of se- secret material that the US uh, authorities held on this individual, which identified him as a suspected um, Russian intelligence agent. Yes. So we're talking about a, a very wealthy tycoon, good deal of good deal of assets, c- came over using the the Homes for Ukraine scheme. Is there is there any suggestion or clear evidence that he may be actively serving Russia now? So it's an important distinction to make that he and his, himself didn't use the Ukraine scheme. It was he used a visa that he was previously given by the UK. It was his right. family who joined him on the scheme. Right. But um, I, 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 the material I reviewed was between 2017 and 2021. Um, but I spoke to a serving uh, US government official who said that he is this this Ukrainian businessman is um, believed to be a Russian asset of, of, of the FSB. And um, yet I spoke to another former FBI um, agent who investigated this this Ukrainian businessman, who also said that he shouldn't be a free man and his presence in the UK rubs salt in the wound. Right. Now, now what about just lastly, the Ukraine... Homes for Ukraine scheme itself. Yeah. I mean, you've written, haven't you, about a certain amount of tension about that between different senior ministers, Michael Gove and Suella Braverman. Yes. Well, could you believe that two um, government ministers are it, clashing with each other at a time of international crisis? Um, I can't imagine a time where we've seen that before. But um, it's uh, we've we've spoken to Home Office insiders who detailed a severe pressure on clearing numbers um, during this scheme. Um, which they say suffered the security around it. Now, security on this scheme was was raised as an issue when it was first launched um, at the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. And um, Pretty Patel, the then Home Secretary, came out um, and batted away criticism that these security checks were causing delays. Um, she said they were needed, and it would be naive to think that this scheme wouldn't be exploited. Now, we know now from insiders um, in the government at the time who, that those comments led to a number of um, meetings between Michael Gove, the levelling up minister, and Priti Patel around the need for security checks um, on the scheme. And one insider said it was a bloody mess and they could not say with any degree of confidence how vigorous those security checks were. Well, I'm John Pienaar. And if you found that interesting, we are here each day, Monday to Thursday, five o'clock till seven o'clock on Drive, and from seven till eight, Pinar and Friends, where we discuss the big stories of the day each day on Times Radio.